I spent $500,000 in TV ads to promote my own ad agency and this is what happened. I've been doing marketing for over 20 years and honestly, I always thought that TV ads suck. Who likes being interrupted by ads when you're watching your favorite TV show or movie, right? I don't. As a marketer, I always thought that this form of interruption advertising isn't really relevant and had its days counted. I'm an enthusiast of digital channels because you can actually measure everything to the T. You can see what the traffic source is, how much sales is generating, what's cheaper, what's better, what's more expensive, what's more effective. It gives you all that data. Even with SEO, I know that you can't really tell Google which keywords it should rank your website for. You can try to suggest them to Google, but at the end of the day, it's up to them. But at least you know what you're creating content on and the certain topics that Google loves and what you can do to rank higher. So then that way, you can get a huge ROI and not pay for the traffic. If you're struggling with that aspect, check out Ubersess, by the way. But with TV, you're left in the dark. You don't know how many visitors that are coming to your website from that channel. And you can use tools like Tatari, they're better than nothing, but it's still not perfect. And you don't know how many conversions and sales it's generating. In 2021, I decided to bet against the odds. Here's what I thought. If everyone is slowly leaving TV advertising and going digital, TV ads are probably getting less competitive and cheaper. I thought that this was a form of advertising that's most likely underpriced that you can still get lots of attention for because during COVID, what was everyone doing? They're at home. So I've always reinvested all the money I make to put it in areas that I think will help grow my business the most. If that makes money, then you double down on it again. So I decided to take some of the money that we're making and put that money into ads, specifically on TV ads. During this time frame, I spent $500,000 on TV ads and here are the results. So first off, I started putting my ads on stock channels. Our clients at our ad agency, NP Digital, are big, large companies like the Fortune 100 or Fortune 50, Fortune 500, you get it, publicly traded companies. Ideally, not companies that are worth 500 million or even a billion. I'm talking about companies that are worth 10 billion, 20 billion, 50 billion. Now, we do also have small and pops because we have a SMB division called NPXL, but I wanted to target really big businesses. All these businesses have stocks. All the executives at these companies who are decision makers, what do they get compensated in? Stock. So what do they watch in the background in all these offices? CNBC and Bloomberg and all the stock channels. So we decided to put our ads on all these stock channels. At first, we did a 100 grand test run and we didn't get any sales. But a lot of people texted me saying, I saw your ads, oh cool. And then I even got my parents' friends to text my parents Technically, I didn't get them, they just did. And they're like, oh, we saw your son on TV. My parents were like, oh, this is amazing, you're successful. TV ads doesn't really mean you're successful, it just means you spent money. Even then, didn't generate any return. Then what I do, I spent another 100,000. And I kept going until 500,000. And here's what I learned. Website traffic, not much. Branding, we got a lot more people typing in our brand. Leads. Not a ton of qualified leads, but we got a few. But you know what it did? It brought more legitimacy to my ad agency. We were already big. We were on the Inc. 500 list and we were the 21st fastest growing company. Wasn't top 10, so I wasn't really impressed. 21 is only a good number if you're playing blackjack, but we digress. And what I ended up learning from that process was a lot of other companies were like, yeah, we knew about you, but we thought you guys were small. Even though at that time, we had roughly 640 employees globally, and we we're growing at a rapid pace, more than 50% a year. And we we're just like, no, we're growing fast. We got tons of awards. We won Performance Marketing Agency of the Year, and we got all these awards, and we showed some of that in our TV commercials. But you know what happened? These bigger companies are like, yeah, we already knew about you, but we thought you were small. We now realize that you guys are bigger, so we're now open to potentially hiring you. That's what it helped. It didn't help generate new awareness. It didn't help generate more leads. It got the people that already knew about this, that were on the fence, to go over and include us in their RFP. RFP stands for Request for Proposal, so that we got more big companies saying, hey, we'll consider you doing our marketing. Doesn't mean you got it. You can try to get it, and if we like you out of the other 10, 15 companies that apply, maybe you'll get it. So do I think I would do this all over again? Yes. More so, would I do this all over again? Yes. 
Would I do this on a regular basis? No, there wasn't a huge ROI, but it's good to just get you on the map and maybe do other trickle effects or other versions of it. Like now we're starting to advertise in some of the big marketing and advertising sites that CMOs read. Probably won't generate such a huge ROI, but I'm hoping it creates the same effect.